Swiss Miss Instant Piss. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today we're going to be looking at another one of Sam Onella's videos called An Open Letter to Swiss Miss. This one was also recommended to me, and there's this odd form of a case study about poor engineering in a packaging of hot chocolate. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hey kids, let me tell you about Swiss Miss Instant Hot Chocolate <laughs> and why their packaging is bullshit. So it comes in a box shaped like this, right? And within the box <laughs> there are individual bags of hot chocolate arranged like this. Already you can see some of this company's incompetence shining through. There is no reason for their box to be double wide. It is a waste of cardboard. Let me prove it. Here's a top-down view, right? Let's yeah. say this side is 8 inches, this side is 2 inches. That adds up to 20 inches of cardboard. If you doubled it up like this, just had the package a single file, that's only 16 inches. It's a waste. And if that weren't bad enough, <laughs> that's for true. some reason, they decide to attach the bags with these tiny paper bridges. Mm. So when you go to make your packet of hot chocolate, you have to detach the two bags. That doesn't sound so bad, except for the fact that it's impossible to break them cleanly. <laughs> every time, every goddamn time, they tear holes into the sides of the bags. And it's never just one bag either. That would be too simple. It puts holes in both. So either way, you're gonna have to put one back and just live with it leaking powder in the box. It's gotten to the point where I have to employ surgical precision yes. just to avoid getting yes. chocolate dust all over my frickin' house. It would be so simple to avoid, too. Even if you really had to have these mm. pointless attachment things, you could at least put little perforations down the center so they break down the middle. School notebooks have been doing it since the 50s, so why, in 2016, has Swiss Miss not discovered the arcane technology of dotted lines? It is just so fascinating how... Simple packaging ergonomics can have such an impact on your day, how things are done, just your general frustration level. This, a simple layout orientation, that was not the root cause, but one of the contributors to the Three Mile Island nuclear accident. Part of it was the control rooms were all cluttered and everything. You had a bunch of... Uh, Equipment out of service tags were large and bulky to the point where they'd cover up some indications. So the operators couldn't see as well what was actually going on in the core. So yeah, this poor layout, poor design for something as trivial as this can absolutely ruin your day. I 100% agree with them on this. So there's powder everywhere. The cat's looking at you funny because it knows you're pissed off, but at least it's time to enjoy some hot chocolate. You pour your bag into the mug, pour in the hot water, take a sip, and it tastes like piss. Swiss Miss Instant Piss. So you go back to check the box thinking maybe you did something wrong. The cat starts shaking because it knows what's coming, and that's when you see it. Serving size, six ounces. No. So finally the dam breaks. You <laughs> unleash a primal roar of sheer fury. The cat shits itself and jumps out the window as you punt kick the Swiss Miss box across the room. The average mug yeah. is 12 fluid ounces in... This reminds me of the time they got the units wrong for the uh, Martian lander and ended up dis completely destroying it between metric and English units. Um... This sort of thing also happened a, a while ago before they built the uh, nuclear power plants at in Georgia that they got the conversion wrong between, um, there's like two different types of pints and they're off by, I want to say 25%. And these safety related accumulators were off by 25% too small. So... Yeah, that was, uh, they, have to, they had to do it all over again, and these things can lead to construction delays, and again, it's an error-likely situation, too, for when you have something that everyone's used to, a standard size being 12 ounces, and, and it being half the size, that really is unacceptable, and yeah, he has every right to tear into these people. <laughs> Who in God's name only drinks six ounces of liquid? <laughs> it's not so a cup finally, size either. reach into the box and pull out the desecrated corpse of that other bag from earlier. And you pour it in, 
Only then can you enjoy your subpar hot beverage properly. This whole system, right? This charade yep. that Swiss Miss puts you through. It's kind of like telling a guy to just jizz with one <laughs> ball instead of both of them. They're in the same container, and separating same them container. would be difficult. And even if I were to figure out how to do that, two does the job better than one anyway, so it's pointless. Nowadays, I just fold the packet in half and rip along the seams of both. And maybe that was their intention, but if so, why would you give me the illusion of separability in the first place? Yeah. It's like Siamese twins. They're joined <laughs> for no reason and hard as fuck to separate. So I guess I'm just gonna have to live with both. I don't know which is worse. The fact this minor inconvenience was my biggest dilemma all day, or that this inconvenience even exists in the first place. But anyway, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. It's hilarious. I mean, yeah, he probably made this after just having one too many bad days associated with that hot chocolate, but... These little things add up. I mean, I know in various continuous improvement type projects, you look for these low level things um, because of how much stress they cause your personnel and your, and like going back to nuclear, your reactor operators, those are people you do not want stress because they are people you count on to do their job effectively when things go south. Not that things go south often, but we are dependent on having these highly trained individuals. And I bet you never thought I would relate uh, Swiss Miss to nuclear power, but there's a connection. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.